welcome back to my channel today i would like to share with you one interesting topic which is ssrf protection bypass using dns rebinding so when i had done my previous pen testing probably two years back i was able to find out one issue uh, which is uh, ssrf protection bypass using dns rebinding technique so today i want to recreate that scenario in order to explain you how i was bypassed that ssrf protection and what was that ssrf protection so let's quickly get our hands dirty with this practical lab in the product there is a feature where it will take user url input and later it will hit that url from its server and it will return us its response that is the feature that it has when i am testing the application so let's see that feature first post a p slash fetch url this is the functionality suppose if i click on enter by submitting url as https google.com the server the backend server will hit this google.com and what is the result of that request it will uh, show us like this so uh, this functionality is vulnerable for ssrf so what if if i change the url to something else like i want i am interested in finding localhost oh it is saying that uh, forbidden access to localhost url is not allowed so let's see how they protected this localhost actually there is a function to check if an ip address is localhost or not there is a function definition here so after they are getting the request query url whatever the url that end user is giving they will take that requested url and later they will uh, take the host name from that url and later they will do dns query from this dns query they will get the ip address which is binded to this host name and after that they will cross check whether this uh, binded ip is belongs to this uh, local host ips or not if it belongs to local host ips then immediately they will return forbidden message if it is not a local host if the domain is not binded to local host then they will hit that domain and uh, they will get the response and uh, they will show that response to us so uh, by looking at the code we can able to understand that okay they are uh, blacklisting the local host uh, ip address in order to prevent access of it but i want to access that uh, local host ip only so i want to bypass it so how i can bypass it uh, let's see the trick so if you go to google and if you type dns rebinder to long line there is a dns uh, rebinding service so let me tell you about this uh, service practically uh, suppose let me take one good ip i will take google.com ip address okay and second ip one see here i have added the uh, first ip as a google ip address and the uh, second ip as a local host ip address so in dns rebinding uh, this domain will bind to these two ip addresses and simultaneously this domain will switch the two ip addresses one by one 
with low TTL value. Let's see that. So if I click on host with this domain name, this domain is binded to localhost now. If I repeat the same, again it is binded to localhost. On, try to edit that. See, now it is binded to Google. So in previous case, it, it is binded to localhost. So this domain will iterate their uh, binding IP addresses with low TTL value. So what if if I give this URL as a input? To this functionality let's check that so I want to give this now let us uh, analyze why I am able to access localhost even though it is blacklisted if you carefully observe this code they will take the user input URL later they will take host name from it and from the host name they will resolve IP address if that IP address belongs to local host then they will return forbidden if it is not belongs to local host they will again hit that requested URL with that domain name and whatever the response that it is giving they will send to us here there is a bypass like uh, let me walk you through that suppose when i am entering my url with uh, i am giving a url called xyz or that uh, dns rebinder url at the time of receiving that url and storing that into requested URL variable uh, immediately it will uh, take the host name and it will check its IP address so what if at the time of checking it is binded with Google IP address then it is binded with Google IP address then it simply bypass this check because it is not belongs to local host and it will enter to this code execution phase uh, whenever they are executing this code what if the domain is binding to localhost URL they can't stop it right that is what happening here so when they are requesting that URL again it is binded to localhost and I am able to access that localhost so in this way you can be able to bypass SSR protection especially blacklisting using DNS rebinding.